Gold Coast and the protest banners will be pulled out of storage. But two local men believe their unique plan is less controversial. They say an offshore terminal catering for the world's biggest ships is just the boost the city needs. The Isis boat could be sitting just 600 metres from the seaway entrance. The offshore cruise ship terminal plan would include cafes, shops, even a helipad. A concrete wall will create a calm area around the seaway, allowing ferries to transport passengers, rain, hail or shine. I think this is a, 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 an important part of the growing of the Gold Coast. It's the brainchild of Southport local Glenn Crawford, who's worked on the idea for six years. So you bring in three or four thousand people and you give them everything that the Gold Coast has got to offer and give them a choice of how they want to spend their money and yeah, you'll be looking at that millions of dollars from, uh, from every every ship that arrives. The ballpark figures that I've been given are sort of between 100 and 120 million dollars to build the whole thing. They've taken it to the city's leaders to draw up support. It's a brilliant concept. I'm thrilled and gee, I'd love to see it happen. It's another concept to be considered and it's wonderful that it's there. There have been environmental concerns raised in the past, but this plan promises to work with Mother Nature. The concrete wall will create a huge marine habitat like an artificial reef. So it would actually become a fishing and diving and whale watching destination in its own right. Tessa Scott, 9 Gold Coast News.